What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So before I get into the actual video, full disclaimer and warning, this video will be filled with nothing but hate and negativity. So I'm giving you a warning now. If you do not want to hear that, click off the video. I don't want to see any comments about, oh, he's just whining, moaning, complaining, bitching. Yeah, it's going to be all of that. Oh, it's going to be all of that. So if you don't want to hear that, you've been warned. Click off the video now because that's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm about to get into. Okay, cool. Let's do it. PlayStation has announced that Foam Stars will be launching in PlayStation Plus on February 6th, day one, right? So essentially, Foam Stars is going to be free in PlayStation Plus, free in, quote, in quotes, because we know subscription services, you still have to pay for them. They're not exactly free. But none, nonetheless, it's the same case as, what's that other uh, dog shit game that uh, people pretended like it was actually good and a respectable multiplayer, and it died within like a month and a half to the point where the developer had to put bots in the game for people to for people to play against. Oh yeah, Destruction um dog shit all stars battle royale or whatever that shit was called. Yeah, that game by Lucid Games, the the game the game where you just crash into each other and and, and it was complete dog shit. Yeah. Launched in PlayStation Plus also. Because most likely because they had no faith or belief in that game, no confidence that people would actually want to buy it or that it would survive. So, very similar situation. So full disclosure, when the Foam Stars alpha or beta multiplayer beta released, I didn't get a chance to play it. So anything I say regarding this game, it's yes, it's assumption. It's um it's an it's based on my eye test. It's based on looking at the game. So no, I cannot say in absolution um that this game is bad go good anything in between. I cannot make that declaration because no, I have not played it. So anything I say is just speculation based on what I see, right? It's an educated guess, but I've been on this planet long enough and playing games long enough that I believe I have a good, uh, I'm a good judgment of what I like and what I think is quality in games. So full disclosure, I'm being honest, I have not played it. But I am someone who is a fan of Splatoon and has a good amount of hours in Splatoon. And we obviously know this is inspired or is copying Splatoon. And I don't mean that in any, in any negative way because I don't think a game copying another game is a bad thing at all. As long as that, the game that's copying does it just as well, switches up some of the mechanics, does some original things, or does it better than the original game. If, if it does that, then fine. I got no issues with it. In my estimation, I don't think this game is going to do this, this Foam Stars game. Now, so this launches in PlayStation Plus. And if you don't download it in PlayStation Plus, afterwards it's going to be $30. Now, here's my point in this. So this game is developed by Square Enix. It's exclusive to PlayStation. Um, it's, you know, so it's not a, like a first-party multiplayer game, but PlayStation obviously is either funded it or paid for the exclusivity, whatever the case is. They invested in it. And it's going in PlayStation Plus. We're talking about Sony, the same corporation. I want you to follow me here. We're talking about Sony, the same corporation that wants to charge you for every little thing at every opportunity. And this, and this is not me complaining about price because I'm not one of those people who complain about price. Follow me with where I'm going here. This is PlayStation that wants to charge you, as people say, nickel and dime you for every little thing so they can squeeze any amount out of your wallet. If PlayStation and Square actually had confidence and believed in this game that people would pay money for this multiplayer game, do you honestly believe they would launch this in PlayStation Plus? Ask yourself that. The same corporation that wants to charge you for every little fucking thing. You think they have confidence in this creatively bankrupt game? And are putting it in their subscription service because they believe in it. 
They have confidence confidence in it. They think it's going to garner a huge fan base and have longevity. You, you, you think that's what they think? No. This is a, a very feeble attempt to bolster their multiplayer lineup since they charge you for PlayStation Plus. And I've been preaching that for who knows how long, fuck teen years. Um, and, you know, they're, they're very feeble attempts to give you any, t- any type of multiplayer game like they did with that and partner with third parties like they did with that Predator game, like, uh, like Destruction All-Stars uh, d- or Dog Shit All-Stars um, and, and a bunch of other multiplayer games from third parties that they've partnered with that were very weak attempts. It's no different. In my estimation, of course. You, 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 you think this is any different? Come on, bro. I, I really want y'all to like, if this was something they really, and, and I know this is not in this current atmosphere, you can make the argument that you can't charge out the gate, at least, for a, uh, for a multiplayer only game if you want it to survive. Because a lot of games nowadays are, Free to play game service, you know, live uh, games as a service, live service games. Cool. It's thirty dollars afterwards, though. And I hate to, uh, you know, um, correlate a game's uh, price tag with its quality. But once again, this is PlayStation. I feel like if this was a strong multiplayer offering where they felt like, yo, this this is something that people are going to buy. I felt like they would they would even try to charge forty for it. And it would definitely, definitely not launch in PlayStation Plus. If, if any of these, if and when any of these like PlayStation um, live service games come out, I could almost bet you, I feel pretty confident in saying that they are not going to launch them in PlayStation Plus. Not the ones they believe in, not the ones that they invest a whole shit, shit ton of money in, into. I do not believe they would put any of those games in PlayStation Plus at all. And I, and I believe a lot of them are not even going to be free to play. I believe they're going to charge you for it because either they're going to want to make their money back or they actually believe that the game will, will uh, actually garner a crowd and people actually feel uh, provoked um, into actually paying money for it. But I believe this is just a throwaway. I believe this is like a, huh, you know, like when you were a kid and you asked and you, you, you keep nagging your parents for something. And they're like, here, motherfucker, go away. My parents love me. They didn't say that to me, but you know what I'm saying. Like, they just, huh. You know, they just throw something at you like, oh, you want this? Oh, here's the, here's the dollar store version. Here's the great value version. Oh, yeah, here's your, here's your, your Kirkland brand uh, Splatoon game. Your, your dollar store Splatoon game. Here, go have fun. Go away. That's what this is to me. So, uh... Yeah, listen, and I'm going to give it a chance and I'm going to be open minded because I'm just that type of person. So when it comes out, I'm going to try it. Do I think I'm going to like it? No, because I've been on this earth long enough to know what I like in games. And just off of watching extensive gameplay and hearing the opinions of uh, my, my, my cohorts that are, are around me and they know what I like and they have, I guess, similar taste in multiplayer games and they know what's good in multiplayer. I just doubt that this is going to be good. And there's going to be a lot of people fronting, acting like, oh, I'm having so much fun. And oh, look, PlayStation does have multiplayer. And oh, sure, pal. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe it for one second. I think this game is going to be, uh, I think this game is going to be dog shit. I think it's going to die within, uh, I'll give it, I, I give it a little bit more time than Destruction All-Stars. I, I give this game two and a half months or something. Um, yeah, I just uh, just uh, listen. Battlefield twenty forty two launched terrible, but uh, I've been I've had no choice but to go back to it, and uh, I actually ended up loving it. So until some respectable multiplayer games start coming out again, um, and not this dog shit current climate and atmosphere, uh, you know, of games that we have now. I'll be on Battlefield 2042 because that's the last bastion of the old guard of multiplayer games. Um, shout out to Vince Zampella. I know you're going to make the next Battlefield. I know, you, I know Vince Zampella going to make the next Battlefield great again. I believe in that, brother. Um, 
So yeah, that that's it, y'all. Um, let me know what y'all think. Uh, hope you enjoyed my hate and negativity rant. If if you didn't, you were warned, and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next video. I guess. Um, that's all I really got to say about um soap suds or foamy shit, whatever this thing is called. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace. Hit, uh, hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. We out.